I grew up with the First World War as a little kid. I was born in 1918, so I only knew it by way of the connection of the family. I had two uncles on my mother's side who were in the American Army. My father's youngest brother was in the Canadian Army. Another brother was in the British Army. My grandmother's house was full of, full of books and, and papers and things because of her boys who were in the Army. The First World War was in my head. The second one, I was in that one. Historical material kept on being important to me as subject matter for painting. Anyhow, all of that is history and it fascinates me and I've been stuck with it. That's the reason for the show. Because all of this has been in me all the time. And it started back in the 1990s as a deliberate exhibit. And here it is. I was drawing when I was a little kid, the littlest of kids. When I could hold a pencil, I drew. When it came to going to school for the sake of earning a living, I better go into something like engineering. I went to two years in Grand Rapids to a junior college. I transferred here in 39 and was into the Naval Architecture program. And the art was something on the side. In the course of that first year on campus here, I discovered that other crazy outfit across the way, which was the College of Architecture and Design. All of these things that I fiddled with and knew something about at a distance, here it was, right on campus. And that, that was it, that worked. End of story. The end of 45 until I retired, I was teaching in, in the art department. I retired as associate dean, if you will, in the art school. That was in 84. I just loved to draw. What I would sooner be doing is drawing pictures of steamboats on the Great Lakes and locomotives. That's more fun. And that, that I do all the time. I keep on drawing and painting, and uh, I'm sure I'll keep that going to the end. <laughs>